my veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel um, Today we are uh, continuing on with our hood exit exhaust uh, Kind of, this should be the last portion We got uh, three different episodes on it here um, it takes a long time to do it. It does take a long time, um, and also to film it and show it, it does take us a little bit more time to do that. So uh, if you do appreciate and like these videos, make sure you go down there and hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons there. Um, also, if you want to share it to some of your friends, we appreciate that as well. But today, we have to get the exhaust cut, um, and then the hood fit. It's gonna fit the hood also. Yep, and um, I say today this might be uh, one or two days for us, but for the video there, we're gonna try to get this all done today for the video. So uh, right now, first thing is you have a trick with some ropes going um, yeah. to find out where we need to make our cuts and measure Just off of. Just basically a, a level type deal right there so we can we can base the actual cut on where the hood should be sitting. Well, let's go ahead and uh, put the car down and show everybody what the idea is and get it marked. Over at the car, uh, as you see, we have the exhaust that we painted last time over here and we have some ropes kind of going everywhere. I'm gonna turn this around and show you guys exactly why we have that and what the idea is for it. So, um, since we have our front end here, we know that the hood is gonna sit down in this. This comes up, but the hood is going to be at least this tall. So if we run our ropes in a fairly straight line from where the hood is going to be here to where the hood is there, and make sure it's just barely touching the exhaust, we can go from multiple angles. We came from this way underneath. Now we know exactly where the hood's going to be and we can draw our lines exactly where we're going to need to cut. Um, now what we're going to do is put this up in the air so that we're actually at eye level. So that way our markings are going to be nice and, and flush on there. Once we get it marked, we're going to measure up just a little bit. So that way it actually pokes through the hood. We don't want to have it exactly flush with it because then you can actually like melt the wrap and the things that are on there. And we want to make sure that we're not hurting the car and making it look worse remember, uh, by doing yes. this. Remember. Take your time doing this. If you're gonna do this yourself, take your time. You can always cut more off as you go. So don't cut too much at the first time. Absolutely, you know, uh, measure twice, cut once, um, and don't be the uh, measure once and have to cut twice or order a part, so. over at our workstation um, we went ahead and we tried to solid up of the lines that we drew up in the car um, and then we measured one inch up and then went and put a new line there uh, what that's gonna do is it's going to give us more than enough out of the hood um, and we're gonna go ahead and cut the hood once it's to that height so it'll come down and then we'll go ahead, mark where we want it and trim it there. That'll give us a little bit more of a, uh, let's say opening around everything, uh, doing it as we're gonna be bringing it down with that extra inch there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, start cutting. Uh, this is gonna be very awkward to cut. Um, so probably not gonna have too much uh, footage of cutting it here, but we'll try to get some of it on camera so you can see this. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off again, boss. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud. It be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm looking bound, can't stop me now. You don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things That you couldn't believe Just tell me So 
now with the car up in the air, you saw we had the hood spaced up. It's actually resting on the exhaust right here. And then we spaced it up on the other side. So dad's up in here. You can see there's the exhaust. So he's gonna go ahead and kind of trace around where we're gonna need to cut. Um, and then we'll go ahead and pull it back off and uh, make our cuts for the hood. All right, so uh, we got the hood fit on here. Uh, Al, he is marking out on there right now. It did take us a few t uh, cuts and tries to get the hood to fit on there. And uh, I didn't want to show you guys, you know, six or seven times taking the hood off and making small trims. So uh, you saw how we did that underneath. Um, then we went and cut and then on top, we were able to just keep then trimming away that we need to there. Right now, Al is marking with the white paint pen. He's using the basically the thickness of the marker to mark all the way around. So now we'll be able to uh, go ahead when we pull the exhaust off, we'll know exactly kind of where we, we want it. So it's going to poke out a little bit. And before we even take and take that off and cut it, we're going to test the front end pivoting up and down and how well it comes on and off here. So. Go ahead and uh, keep moving forward with this. Uh, back at it, it's the next day. Um, uh, I stayed late tonight uh, with Al and he took off a little bit early. So I just kind of uh, wrapping up a couple of things on this, but we got the trim done. Um, so it is roughly the height that we want it to be. It, it's not perfectly flat. A couple of waves so i'm going to go ahead and get my flat my straight edge and uh, we're going to fix that um i did get a little bit happy with the cutter so i'm going to have to repair that i'm just honest guys um and uh that's about it for this but i mean it's trimmed out it's got everything around it nice and neat wow just hey hey uh just leave a, leave a comment uh, below. What do you guys think of that? Because um, my main th concern that I'm having right now is this is a direct, like that's where I look right here when I'm in the left lane. So to see the tree. Um, and if this thing is shooting fireballs out and shit like that, um, I'm gonna be a little bit nervous about that if it you know messes with my eyes or something like that watching the tree. So, well, I'm gonna call uh, this project done. So next project I wanna tackle real quick uh, is going to be the fuel cell. We do need to take and pull everything off of the front of the engine and the car just to do a, the last little bit of final welding down on our crossover pipe. Uh, but if I'm going to go ahead and pull everything off, I wanna have the fuel cell kind of ready to go ahead and fit up there. Al had already made a model um, or a, uh, a rough draft, as you will. He used his CAD skills there, which is his cardboard aided design. Um, and he came up with this. This is going to be the, uh, what we base everything off of. Now we brought this over to, um, our local steel supply place here in town. And they were able to take a bunch of measurements and get a bunch of aluminum pieces, uh, pre bent and cut, uh, for us already. So then uh, we already kind of started to get that put together. This is kind of where we're sitting so far. Um, the idea is that the, where are we at here? It's going to come back like this. This is gonna be the top if I remember correctly. Um, and the down bar of the frame is going to be coming in between everything down through here. Um, and then we'll have to make our mounts and everything. So. We still need to uh, fit some parts uh, because there's a lot of little pieces that we need to make to fill in and uh, make everything work. Still. So that means we have to uh, bust out the aluminum and Sharpie and everything else and start cutting all of this. So let's go ahead, um, get some measurements and see what we still need to make for this. As you can see, we have made quite a bit of progress on this and uh, our last pieces that we had to make, I made this morning, um, this little wedge that had to come in right here. Uh, this is all when it gets in the car will make much more sense. Um, this one, I've got uh, the final piece here. Um, we'll be getting in this way. And uh, I, when I weld this one in, you'll see I'm going to make a couple of tacks and this is actually going to get wedged in. We're going to give that little bit of a spring there 
You see how this moves? So uh, we're gonna give it a little bit of wedge and some uh, final massaging to get in there and then get it all tacked in place. Once we have that tacked in place, we'll go ahead and run a little bit more of some beads on this and that wedge piece. And then we will have to uh, trace out our top piece and make sure everything is as flat as possible for the top as well. So. Kind of how it's gonna sit. Um, I still have the back panel here to make and weld in, but I want to weld everything else up first because some of the welds on doing this back panel are going to be very difficult. Um, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this kind of finalized, then we'll get this pa back panel put on. We'll show a little bit of that, um, and then we'll have to come over and start to shim everything and get it uh, ready to mount. Um, and for that, we'll show that on the next episode of the final mounting and uh, plumbing the new fuel system for that. So thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Make sure you click the like and the comments and the subscribing and do all of that, uh, we appreciate it. Hit the website, badinfluencegarage.com, pick up a hat or a shirt, and until next time, be safe out there.